I recently made this dress, staying true to my resolve to make clothes that I would actually wear, as explained in this video. I did not, however, film myself making this dress. I wanted to, but this whole video making thing, it's a lot. You have to figure out the lighting, set up all the shots you think you might need, make sure you're actually getting things inside the frame, and then there's everything that goes into the editing process. It's a lot. But I did really want an apron to go along with this dress, and I thought that would be the perfect simple project for the next video. First thing to do is measure. And measure I did, but it's a very tedious process, so I will spare you. Here's a sketch of what I came up with, but ignore this one because, well, I changed almost everything. This is what I ended up cutting out. I found this fabric remnant at the thrift store. One of the downsides of using thrifted fabric is that you have to work with what you have. You have to be careful because you cannot get any more of this fabric, and you may have to compromise on your original plan in order to make things fit, which is what I did. The pockets were a bit of a challenge thanks to this rather unique fabric edge. I'm just wondering how this shape occurred. I was working fairly fast and putting a lot of concentration into this filming thing that is still very new to me, and after cutting I realized, with a bit of horror, I had failed to press the fabric before cutting. But I forgave myself and gave it a press afterward, and it was all okay. Okay, it is not another day. I just changed out of my sweater because it was so hot. I am aware of how dreadful my lighting setup is. Please be kind, I'm figuring things out as I go. If you saw my first video, you know that this is a different sewing machine. My sewing machine broke, it was very sad, but in all fairness, it was over 15 years old, so. Um, but I could not afford a new sewing machine, so I went to a thrift store, got a sewing machine there, it was actually very expensive for the thrift store, and that didn't work, and I ended up taking it back and asking them, even though it's not their policy, would they consider taking it back, because it didn't work at all. And they were kind enough to take it back, and so I was able to put that money towards a new sewing machine, saved up a little more money, saved up a lot more money, and then bought this machine. And it is... It's not the same as my old machine. I love my old machine. I miss my old machine very much. But uh, this one's doing a really good job, and I'm really glad to be sewing again. So that's the story there. Ba-da-ba-ba
Time for pocket sits. I recommend sewing pockets on before sewing a skirt to a waistband because then you won't have to contend with all the gathers, as I did here, but I totally forgot. Moving forward, I measured from the edges of the apron to map out rectangles in chalk, making a guide for the placement of the pockets. Pin them on and stitch them into place. It's finished! The apron is complete, but I think I'm going to wait until tomorrow to show you the whole outfit put together and how it all turned out because I really wanted to film that outside and it is now dark, so I'm going to wait until tomorrow. Also, uh, I haven't been feeling super pretty and put together lately and I really like to feel a little more pretty and put together for filming that and my hair just um yeah needs a little bit of love so i'm gonna give it some love and then show you how it all turns out tomorrow So that was me making an apron. I think this was a really good project for me to be able to practice my filming and editing. I can sew fairly well, but when it comes to filming it, um, explaining what I'm doing and why, and getting all the shots that I need to tell a story, and then editing it, putting all the pieces together and hoping that I'm not being boring, that, that's really hard. Um, it's a challenge, um, but like anything else, I will not get better at it unless I practice consistently. So I'm going to try to purpose myself to do that because I would really like to continue making videos and I would really like to get better at it. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. And if there's anything you want to see me make, please let me know and I just might make it.